hello everyone welcome to the session second of the course in python so in the previous class we have already discussed about what a programming language is and for this particular session we will be focusing mainly on what python is so out of many uh, programming language which are already available uh, out in the market uh, what is python why python how is python more relevant to everyone to answer such questions uh, we'll be shortly understanding a uh, few details with respect to python so we'll be quickly walking over uh, history overview features of python then what application could be developed what job roles does the python hold for you and the industrial applications so out in the industry uh, what all are the applications that are built using python we'll see so as you can see on my screen this is what we're going to cover shortly so let's get started let's first uh, try to understand how python came into being so initially uh, when the computer era was started uh, more computation power was being uh, invented uh, people like Guido and Rosum who were working in the uh, research laboratory in the Netherlands for uh, science and mathematics he conceptualized and conceived the idea of having a higher language like python so the uh, the so the you know the person who's on the screen which you can see he is the inventor and the founder of python originally uh, he was the one who started this project uh, in 1989 and released the first version in 1991 for the general public use and he has largely contributed a lot uh, for the initial releases of the python so throughout the 1990s uh, he has been working on Python uh, as a language. So when we understand Python, uh, what is Python? So basically, uh, just like any human linguistic language, we have to interact with the humans. Uh, to interact with the machine, Python is uh, a language in a similar context. And when we refer to that Python was developed and released in 1991, it just means that all the gram grammar the syntax, the rules and regulations uh, that governs the language, uh, that is what was defined and coded. So initially he had developed the Python, but eventually as the uh, Python garnered a large support as it started becoming popular, a lot of people started coming in and uh, started joining the team. And today, uh, it, it is being handled by the core Python uh, members. So, <clears throat> as you can see on my screen, uh, what you see here are the different version releases of Python. So, just like you have seen that uh, in your mobile phone, the application keeps on prompting you to download the new version of the app and install the new version of the app in a similar way python as a software package uh, or the python as a literature was being rolled out uh, one after the other in a form of a versions so the initial version starting in the 1991 uh, till date and as of today uh, python is running into 3.11 version and if you try to understand uh, the versions of python basically the python could be understood that there was a python 2 and now there is a python 3 and there's a large difference between them so because today we have a lot of technological advancements and a lot of features have been added to the python 3 language the rules the syntaxes a lot of differs however whatever we write in python 3 we may not be able to run it in python 2 but if there is certain code that is coming from python 2 and if we write something in python version 2 with slight modifications it is still possible that we can run that python 2 code in python 3 but officially 
officially the support has been ended for python 2 in uh, 2008 itself and since 2008 we have been working on python 3 so any new project that is built any new organization that takes up the python project any uh, coding we do it is always for python 3 right let's ask ourselves a basic question is python a future well to answer that i think we should be walking through certain statistics what you see here is a statistic that has been derived from one of the major job platform and what you see here it has been revealed that python has been in the top uh, segment top three uh, most popular language from the last couple of years but why so and you can see that uh, it has even surpassed C and Java. Now C is such a popular language that it has been 40 years uh, since 40, 50 years since 1970s. All the embedded system, right? From all your aeroplane, your car, your uh, laptops, a lot of uh, embedded system are, are running on C. Uh, it, it is such a widely accepted industrial language, but yet, and even the Java and C++, but yet Python has been... Uh, prevailing at the top for you know, the factor that there has been considered on which language is popular is one the number of jobs coming up in the market and the most number of jobs has python as a requirement so with that keywords such a study has been prepared and apart from that uh, major site platforms like stack overflow uh, etc had uh, had the queries and the questions being asked majorly on Python and that's how with such with such data such static has been uh, been prepared and you can see that Python has been prevailing and been at the top but how do you still consider that it's a it's a it's a future well on this screen what you see here it has been mentioned that applications of Python <clears throat> so if you learn Python as a programming language, well, there are too many programming languages to be learned, isn't it? There, there is a C, C++, Java, JavaScript, PHP. But then why Python? Well, Python is such a universal language that it can do a lot of things. As you can see here on the screen, there is something called web you know, internet development. There is something called GUI applications. Well, to give you an example of what a GUI application is, let me show you one of my project. That has been developed so as you can see here uh, this is perhaps a project and if I open up you the code you can see that this whole code is written in a Python language isn't it now if I try to run this particular code you shall see that that code which was written in an English like language is being now rendered as a uh, desktop application so what you see here is a desktop based application that has been created and it's all been created using python no other language purely python and you can see here i have created a login page using python i log it into it i get another screen here right this is a desktop based application and at the back end if i try to run this particular application you can see that a video is being processed and and ai and ml model is being run so this particular application has been purely developed using python and no other technology and this is why the python is said to be one of the versatile language because not just the gui but a lot of application can be developed now there is something called a scientific and numeric computations uh, that you can do uh, well, to show you certain uh, things from the uh, scientific and numeric computations, then you can see that um, on my screen. Let me open up a data for you. So, in this Excel sheet, I have a huge data, uh, huge enough that it doesn't make sense. So much of data, and if I try to zoom out, you will see that this data is way too huge. Too huge, too huge and it is running into lakhs of lines of almost seven to eight lakhs of lines of code but how do i interpret this data this data and how do i make sense out of this data well 
let me show you what has been done with respect to this whole data so you can see that i have written the code here and this code is analyzing that data and the results that you see on the screen is nothing but the data analytics the scientific and the numeric computations has been performed the data and everything has been done using python code you can see here right yep so this is another example where you can see that uh, one of the predominant use of python as a language apart from that of course you can develop a software you can utilize the python as a language for your education business applications database access networking 3d games and rapid there are a lot of scopes and applications for the python moving forward python is just a programming language so uh, to to give you a context uh, just because i know english doesn't need doesn't mean that uh, i can talk to you about uh, the falcon 9 uh, rocket launch by the spacex well that's now a uh, industry specific applications and i really need to have a, a knowledge about the aerospace and the uh, rocketry and everything to talk such a technical stuff isn't it knowing just english doesn't help in a similar way knowing just python doesn't help however with python if we specialize in certain frameworks or the or we call it as libraries modules then you can pursue your career as well as the project and application in certain domain specific for example using python i can develop websites mobile apps and everything and django is such a framework that supports you i can develop the game py game is the one i can deal with big data uh, i can do the web testing using selenium i can i can get involved into artificial intelligence the data science using the libraries like keras tensorflow i can do the image processing using the libraries like opencv uh, etc you know there is python is such a versatile language that it is serving almost each and every industry you name it whether it's a aerospace whether it's a automotive whether it's a finance whether it's a healthcare almost every industry is serving with its applications and if it doesn't make sense to you what a framework is or what such modules and libraries are no worries uh, as we move forward through the course uh, everything will uh, be understood and it will start making sense and you shall start connecting your dots to know what these are well uh, i'm pretty sure on the screen what you see Uh, these are quite notable and uh, predominant icons in the industry everyone would recognize uh, you would have already recognized few of them like the first one is the instagram second one is the spotify the netflix the uber and pinterest reddit etc however if you're wondering why am i showing you this uh, these icons well that is the reason because all these companies and these applications are using python significantly at their back end and if you realize that what kind of applications uh, these uh, these these brands are serving for example instagram is completely a social media platform this spotify is the music sharing platform netflix is the streaming platform and uber is connecting all the riders and the ride takers well they are serving different domains and yet python is able to uh, service them and this is the reason that because of such a versatile nature and the cap capabilities of python to handle the data at such a large scale and provide platforms and technologies to build such product and hence such a language is being uh, the language like python is being widely uh, adopted in the industry right so moving forward since this course is all about python we are going to learn the python as a programming language uh, if i were to talk to you what are the features does this language have why this particular language well the first reason it's it's very easy to code so if i were to show you uh, how easy it is you can see that if i just write print arun kumar and if i run this you can see the output here right 
that's how easy it is and if the same instruction if i have to give in other language like java or c or c++ it would have taken almost five to seven lines just to print certain text however in python it's just one one line now because of such easiness python is well preferred second is it's open source now being an open source means uh, it is not paid you don't have to pay a penny to have the files or installations or access the resources uh, it is freely available to everyone you can modify it you can utilize it all for free of cost you can contribute to it right second is it's object oriented language sorry the third one is the object oriented language well at this stage i wouldn't talk much about it but uh, the the only reason why c++ was better than c was one of this factor object oriented language however python is uh, both a sequential language like c as well as the object oriented uh, language it supports both it has a huge gui support so uh, a while back when i had shown you a desktop based application uh, for example let me show you another desktop based application here uh what does it mean to be so yep i got it so let me run another one for you just to show you how uh if you learn this particular language and if you're developing any script you can not just uh, write any automation script but you can also connect it with such a nice looking graphical user interface so let me show you how it all works i have put a basic detail here and i'm just providing some input file here now let me try to plot certain graphs here so you can see that the graph is getting plotted all these are the data analytics that has been performed and all such graphs that are being rendered on the screen are being plotted by the python as you can see here so this is why uh, we say that python has a huge and really good gui support it's a high level language well uh, you can say that it's more like english very intuitive very easy to learn yeah python is also a portable language now what do you mean by portable it's because if you write python in windows then it is not a windows specific only rather it can also be run on a mac os it can also be run on linux so you don't have to worry that you're writing uh, any any application or any software on one particular operating system well that can be deployed on any yeah? and uh, another point is it's an integrated language now what does that mean is python really has one good thing that if you have written a part of your code in other language like c or c++ or java you can still bring that piece of code in python and using the wrappers uh, you can still run it you can develop an application wherein the uh, the front end is developed in one language and the back end is developed in another language python can bring it all together and that is why python is also called as a glue language right okay python is a interpreted language well at this stage uh if i were to explain you that then i would say that whatever line of code we write whether it's a one line or two lines or 10 lines these lines of codes are nothing but the instructions the instructions to the machine to perform a job um just like i can tell you to perform one job or 10 job same way we are trying to tell some machine to do certain job and when our python code is 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 run in the python environment uh, within our laptop or wherever that environment is hosted each line of code is interpreted and run and then python moves on to the second line and that's how one line after the another line after the another line line by line it keeps on interpreting keeps on converting into a byte code keeps on converting to machine code and keep running okay uh going forward let's try to understand the another good point about the large uh, standard library 
so in python uh, you don't have to reinvent the wheel uh, if you're trying to develop certain application uh, whether it's a web-based application or a mobile application or a uh, desktop based applications or any data analytics artificial intelligence project or NLP anything you do there are huge individual libraries which are already developed by the communities and the freelancers and the organizations world across and have been made freely available to you for your use and you just have to focus writing on your logics a lot of things are readily available for the use right so I'm pretty sure you would have heard about the uh, selenium or the Keras or Pandas, NumPy, uh, Scikit-learn, etc. Matplotlib, lot many libraries are there for your uh, immediate and use. Uh, well, dynamically type language, I'll, you will I'll understand you as we go forward. And before we conclude for the session, let's also try to understand uh, as an overview since we are going to learn the language, what are the good things about this language? Let me try to zoom in a little bit. Yep. So very first thing is highly readable. So Python, if I write any instruction here out here, whether it's print Arun Kumar or whether it's, uh, if I write here, say colors equal to yellow, white, blue and then if i try to write uh, for the code for each color in colors print colors right if i try to write this code and run it you shall see that okay i think i have printed the whole list yep yep now you see although i have written a very small three line lines of code Yet, this is very uh, intuitively understood that uh, this is perhaps some uh, memory and I'm storing three contents in it and then I just rotated around the content and printed each individual element that was stored, right? So Python is highly readable. Uh, whether you uh, know Python or you do not know Python, if you look at the code, uh, it would make sense to you, okay? Interpreted, like I say, uh, Python is processed at the runtime by the interpreter. So when you run Python, when you run your code uh, within the Python environment, each line by line shall be interpreted by the uh, Python environment. Okay. Uh, Python is a now let's let's uh, of course the Python is uh, the as a object oriented or the interactive. Uh, these points you shall uh, shall make sense more into the further classes. Uh, as I explain you the concepts uh, individually. Well, uh, let's look at the another major significant point that this slide is hiding and that is Python is a beginner's language. So whether you are from a computer science background or you are from a civil or a mechanical or any domain, uh, healthcare, finance, any domain, even if you do not have a basic knowledge of uh, the, the programming or any, any language, if you start learning Python, you can still get expertise in the Python and uh, have a full gainful understanding. Python is that easy, that readable, and that easily uh, capable to uh, make you expert. So uh, with that, uh, we have understood that uh, Python is a programming language. It is widely popular, highly in demand in this industry, and it's very easy to learn plus it has a lot of applications uh, as it is commonly said that you must have uh, knowledge of at least one programming language and if that happens to be python it opens a lot of doors for you towards taking your career path whether it's in uh, any industry specific web development or an app development or automation scripting uh, artificial intelligence machine learning or even for your personal project as well as uh, any entrepreneurial uh, thoughts or applications you could utilize python a lot it, you can you can automate your daily jobs you can uh, do a lot yeah so with that uh, let's conclude for the session and in the further classes we shall be learning with basic syntax of the python or the basic rules and grammatical structures of the python yep thank you everyone